ship them up there. In Virgin drones? America or Virgin Galactic or whatever he's calling it for that. Oh yeah, Virgin. I thought it was Virgin Galactic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's going to be exciting. I want to go to the moon. I want you... <laughs> so the next travelers to the moons are going to be pioneers. That's going to be excellent. Are they going to have mm-hmm. like an amusement park up there, like in Futurama? Probably. We're on the moon. We're on the moon. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they just have the whole history all. Uh, the yeah, moon. and they're going yeah. through like a rail ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was science, everybody. Science. Oh. What? That's it. That's it, dude. <laughs> I, 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 no, I really had nothing else. In matter of fact, I understand that uh, Josh might have some sports news here. Of course, sports. Right. Let me check out. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so news and sports. Um, MLB news. Um, Dodgers actually officially traded for Manny Machado yesterday on July 18th. Isn't he supposed to be somebody? He is actually supposed to be the big fish. So, like, uh-huh. uh, from what I've been hearing, he's like the LeBron of he's the baseball, LeBron of baseball. Really? Yeah, like his talent, and he's young. Is he like, like the best one in the game right now? Right now, he's the, one of the top guys. Is MLB M- MVP candidate, and they're saying that the sky's the limit because he's only twenty six, and baseball players can play till like forty. Yeah. So, I mean, the Dodgers gave up five prospects for Machado. Um, he's actually going to be a maybe a free agent, free agent next year. Uh-huh. So the Dodgers really only got him for this championship run for the World Series. Yeah. So I think to, to, this year's the year if they're making these moves right now. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna. There's more moves to come. They may make a move for. What a place are they even in right now? Uh, right now they're first in the West. Okay. Um, but I believe they're like third. I want to say overall in the National League. Right on. Um, right on. So, a lot of people were kind of concerned because it's like, okay, Dodgers just gave up five young guys that were supposed to come up uh-huh. for a guy that's a rental. Ah. So, do you think it's worth it? Do you guys think it's worth it if they win the championship and, you know, he leaves? Or, you know, if if they don't win the championship, do they think they'll try to resign him? Well, obviously, if, if he does extremely well for them, uh-huh. I, they'd be stupid not to try to resign him. I mean, consider uh, if he performs. Uh, also, and also, he's due to command a four hundred million dollar contract. Jeez. So that's a pretty hefty penny for the Dodgers to pay. I wish I could get four hundred R- fucking million bucks to eat MLB fucking sunflower seeds in the dugout, and it's four hundred million <laughs> fully guaranteed. <laughs> The MLB and the NBA are the only ones that have fully guaranteed contracts. Jesus. So, like, that's why the Dodgers, that's why a lot of people are saying they may not want to pay this dude $400 million. Uh-huh. But if he gets in the championship, it's like, all right, well, see ya. Thank you for getting it for us, but peace out. So, I mean, I say, fuck it, resign him. If this guy's supposed to be, like, the next LeBron, like, keep him. Yeah. You know, why him. not? Why not? You know? um, totally. And also in some MLB. Wait, wait. David, what, what are, are you, you playing? playing? Sonic Mania! <laughs> I, I kind of want to stop this sports segment just so I can play Sonic Mini. So but Aaron, anyway. uh, David likes to play video games because he gets bored okay. of yeah. listening uh, to us yeah. talk about sports. Oh, real, nice. He's a real dick. <laughs> anyway. It's freaking Sonic too. That's a good good one. That's a I good know. one. Um, so some more MLB news. So oh. The All-Star game just passed on Tuesday. The American League won. And so do you guys know? You they know, win all the time. Yeah. Uh, don't get me started. <laughs> they um, do. They do. They do. They have a lot more power. I mean, because they have a DH, they mostly hit. It's they don't. The, the yeah, we don't talked have about to. this on the last yeah. pod. Um, and I understand that the National League wants to incorporate a designated hitter for their. Yeah, league, right? the, the players want Instead to of having the pitchers uh, hit exactly, but unfortunately, they can't do anything about it until their next contract. You know, the CBA is up, so they can negotiate it. But um, CBA sounds like a good strain of weed. It is actually. Is but anyway, yeah, yeah, maybe. Is it CBA? No, I don't know. I'm just talking like shit. Like a CBD? CBA? God no. damn it. No. All right. <laughs> um, so, do you guys know about this? All, like, what's the importance of the All-Star game? Uh, home team home, home team advantage? Home field advantage? Yeah. So for the World Series? They're the right? only league. Yeah, they're the only league that does this. That the winner of the All-Star game gets home field advantage. Whereas a lot of other teams, whoever's the number one seed in you know the entire league, will have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Mm-hmm. The MLB does it differently. It's like okay, whichever league wins the you know win, wins the All Star game, they yeah. get home field advantage during the World Series. So it is somewhat Damn. important, you know, spe- you know, and, and it's 
kind of strange to have all these guys from different teams try mm-hmm. to get you know home field advantage when half of them probably won't even make it right, yeah. right. so you know it's, it's really interesting um so in nba news uh moving to right along Kawhi leonard um i believe i mentioned him on a, one of the past podcasts he was recently traded from the spurs up to canada to, to the Ron- Toronto Raptors. Really? Yeah. So he wanted to go to the Lakers. Yeah. And then the Spurs are like, oh, you want to go to LA? That's nice. We'll send you out to Canada. Oh, oh, like that. oh that's fucked up. So <laughs> not, only, not only did they do that, when the contract negotiate, when the trade negotiations, a- negotiations came up, the Lakers called the Spurs like, hey, so, you know, let's, let's talk. He wants to come. What do you want for this? So they asked for the three best young prospects, Kyle Kuzma, um, Josh Hart and Brandon Ingram, and they wanted three first round picks. Mm-hmm. So that's like a king's ransom right there alone. And as soon as they told the Lakers that, they're like, "Okay, bye." The they immediately oh, Lakers immediately were like, "Nah, they don't want to be serious. Then we won't we won't talk to them." And that's exactly what the Spurs wanted. They wanted to give them an offer that will be so ridiculous that they won't even want to talk to them anymore. Wow. Yeah. So the Spurs were being dirty as fuck throughout this entire thing just because they were spiteful. For Kawhi. Well, on the bright side, he can hit up all the Tim Hortons. Oh, oh man. All of them. He's going to have so much donuts. So many maple bars. So many maple bars. It's going to be insane. <laughs> <laughs> and in additional um, NBA news, uh-huh. um, you remember the LeBron mural? Do mural? I? Well, someone actually created a new mural what? off of Mer- Melrose. And uh, this mural, it's a little different. Instead of just focusing only on LeBron, okay. where it says the king of LA, now it's LeBron. Looking up at Lakers legends, Kobe, Shaq, Magic, Kareem, Wilt, looking mm. at them while they're, you know, over the skyline of like the forum and the Staples Center. I'm going to pass it around here. So some people, the guys is can it watch done? Because I saw I saw him when like he was first drawing Kobe and and Shaq. Is yeah. It, is he pretty much done with the mural? Yeah, already? she it's a it's a woman. Um, She's actually. Oh, she. she yeah. Oh, oh, she, right she completely finished yeah. it now. So. Uh, Dude, really she good. she does good work. Oh yeah, that looks, first one was dope as all fuck. Yeah, it was dope. And then yeah. I mean, this one this one looks even better. The first one was done by a, oh, a guy, yeah. and then she um, because you know what happened with the last one right. getting vandalized so much. She was like, okay, let me do something that'll appease the Lakers fans, but still focus on LeBron on being LeBron, here. Yeah. yeah so totally. I mean, it's it's really nice. It's done yeah, really well. It looks really yeah, good. you got Kobe, Shaq, Magic. Kareem, uh, Kareem, you got Wilt, and, and yeah, Wilt, Wilt. still. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, what do you guys think is the uh, over under for? Uh, I was just vandalism? gonna say that. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Everything gets vandalized in Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. What's the yeah. over under? Like, I, I give it. I give it four days. Four days before somebody shits all over it. Wow, you really have uh, a lot of faith in these people that it's only gonna <laughs> not be. I thought I wasn't. <laughs> I, thought it is. I give it like two days, I, like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's off Melrose, so let's give it two days, just because you know police kind of patrol there a little bit more. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's it's just crazy. It's you know, hopefully it doesn't vandalize it. Come on, people, don't vandalize shit. You know, and. Enjoy your city. Appreciate yeah, your city. Cool. Make be it look cool. good. Make you know, it look good. Be proud of your these, fucking city. These artists really, in, you know, want to do something for you guys, and this is for the city. So you know, appreciate them a little bit. Don't make it look like shit. And um, you know, some to finally end it off so in some NFL news. Um, have you guys heard about this anthem policy? Um, the whole yeah. anthem protest. Yeah. What about it? They're like finding the players if they're yeah, they're gonna. If they're going to um, kneel. kneel still? Yeah, yeah. So the NFL just passed a rule this past March in the league meetings that any player that protests or kneels during the national anthem uh-huh. will get suspended or fined. Oh, but shit. at the team's discretion. So just today, the Miami Dolphins announced that any player of theirs that is either you know, caught protesting or, you know, does not want to go out, they're going to be fined and suspended. Wow. And so, like, a lot of players are pissed off. Uh, like, there's even talks about maybe a majority of the team protesting it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's like, okay, are you going to you gonna protest 53 dudes, yeah. you know, on a team? So, yeah. I mean, what are you guys' thoughts on these whole anthem protests? Do you believe any of that shit? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a real incendiary issue. Yeah. I, I mean... I believe that they they have the right to to kneel. I, I believe I concur with that. What do you What do you think? I think I think so too. Uh, I, I I don't. What bugs me 
listen, the, they have every right to kneel. Yes. The the NFL as a company has every right to tell their employees what they can or can't do while they're on the clock. Yes. What pisses me off is all these motherfuckers getting so pissed off that they're kneeling. Ma- them making it a big deal and thus pushing the NFL to do something about it. Yeah. It's like, dude, just let them do their thing. They're obviously doing it for a cause. Um, they're, they're speaking their mind. Uh, it's it's not hurting. It didn't hurt anybody, at least not at first. Not until some bitch like mouthed off about it. Yeah, um, and then Trump got involved. Yeah, and it became then a it, big it thing. just became a whole fucking yeah. right uh, right wing shit storm. And God damn it, dude. You know, I yeah. I mean, I understand like what the league's trying to do. You know, deter people from doing those type of things. But mm-hmm. you know, at the same time, it's like. It is our right. You know, it's in the Constitution. It's in a yeah. Bill of Rights. Totally. Yeah. But, you know, we have the right to do that. So it's like, come on, just just let it, just let Maybe if cops didn't die. beat fucking colored yeah, people, yeah, then mean, we wouldn't be in this mess. Like, guys, you know? they're not they're not protesting the flag. They're yeah. protesting, you know, police brutality. They refuse you know? to accept that. Yeah, and a it lot sucks. of people just Well, the only reason that people think that they're protesting the flag or, or the, you know, the armed services or anything is just because, you know. It's during the flag. Well, That's no, what. it's because um, the the purpose. Basically, he's like purposely like throwing shade around in doubt. He's just like like blaming it on you know the gaslighting thing. He's just blaming yeah. it on mm. other shit. Yeah, mm. he's yeah. just like blaming. It's blaming a straw man argument. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's totally. Yeah. Just like here, look at this while I do this over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, totally. So that's me for for splits. Awesome, man. Thank you. All right. Well, every week or every uh, episode, I always sign off with "Don't be a dick." It has quickly become a segment on the show. Yep. <laughs> but <laughs> this one will um, this one will be short and sweet. I try not to, to get too political on the show. We we, we mainly want to just uh, you know shoot the shit. But what happened this week with Trump in Helsinki was fucking devastating. I think it transcends party lines. Yeah. I think everybody on either side of the aisle would be like, what the fuck is this idiot doing with taking sides with Russia? You wouldn't find any previous president doing what he did. Uh, he's pretty much in the in the motherfucker's pocket. Like, I mean, Putin basically said during the press conference, like, hey, look, here's my dick. Get on your knees. <laughs> get ready. Like Have you that- guys seen that meme where he's just like, what's your name? And Trump's just like, my name is Reek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty spot on <laughs> oh dude so i mean with that uh, it, it was embarrassing shit i was offended as an american like why was this guy like on a podium with with i wouldn't say they're our enemy anymore i mean we've been cordial with russia for a little while nah man they're they're in. but they're yeah, yeah. but <laughs> i mean come on dude but they're oh. not cool they, they ain't cool they're just no 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 i mean they're the perennial. I, I would say they're like the arch rival. You mm-hmm. know, like well, they're the bottom line. They don't have our best interest at heart. No, that's true. You know? no, no, and no, that's, no, that's true. That's kind of the definition of an enemy. I mean, you got a head okay. that you got the former head of the KGB as a president yep. of an entire country. What does that tell you? I mean, yeah, this, you have a point. Yeah, you know, I mean, the, and even like hearing him say like when he was discussing like why would I you know monitor Trump? You know, like it's just one man. You know, coming. Why would I monitor him so closely? That's ridiculous. Uh-huh. Well, you're monitoring one of the richest men in the world. Of course, you're going to monitor him. Come on now. Yeah. Like, who are you kidding? But mm. yeah. So I mean, for that. Don't be a dick, Trump. A little too late on that one. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it. So I'm going to play devil's advocate just for a second. Yeah, man. Just for a minute. Love to. And here's the only reason why. Uh Now, Trump, he said a lot of stupid shit. He's done a lot of really questionable things. Of course he has. And all of us are on board with that 100%. Sure. He's a businessman, first and foremost. And as any businessman, they are always looking for their best interest in mind. Now... As much as he's saying certain things that might suck, I think, personally, he's doing the kind of feigning the rolling over kind of thing to just get on the better side of someone and probably thinking more long term in the sense of, quote unquote, they are arch rivals, our enemies, and maybe trying to look at it from a different angle, possibly, and trying to be like, hey, let's put that shit down. You guys got some points. We probably don't have all the most valid reasons as to why our security system allowed for Thousands upon thousands of emails to just disappear, including a server. It's like clearly us as Americans might be a little flawed. And again, I'm not saying well, I'm like 100% no, no, and that's said. fine. And while that that is all valid with the whole Hillary shit, 
He dodged the question and gave us that information, yeah. which we already knew. Yeah. He dodged the fucking question, and then he, he got on his knees and, and sucked them off.